Okay, so I wanted to do a little video just to show you the different sorts of extrusions because some of you are getting into a bit of a mess with them um, when you're needing to add different extrusions together to make a, a model. So um, ordinary extrusion is a cylinder, that's fine, we can do that. Um, if I do another one, I want to maybe um, add another sort of rectangular part to this model. So I've drawn a sketch, I go to extrude, um, I can select the, the sketch that I want. And for me, the default pops up so that it is um, adding those two bits together. You can see they're the same colour and you can see over here in the options it says add. So if I just click on that there, you can see that I've got a cylinder and a rectangle but they're connected together as if they're one part. Down here which lists all the separate parts of your model, there's only one part so they are connected. So other things I could select maybe which you will have used already would be remove. If I just flip the direction of there, so that would be our extrude subtract. If I hit that you see now I've actually cut them away. So um, just like all of our inventor and other models that you've created, if we extrude subtract, we, we cut the, the sketch away from the, the first part. So those two are fairly obvious, but sometimes what happens is um, it, it, it chooses this one here, which says new. I'm just gonna flip that out. Now, if I have new, you can see what we've got now is we've actually got two different colors, which means that these two extruded blobs if you like are actually separate parts and down here you can see now we've got part one which is the first one and part one which is the second and I can actually hide those parts separately they are separate elements so sometimes that's what you want if we were making for example a screwdriver you could um, model the handle here yeah, some extrusion and then you could use that handle to model the, the the shank the shaft the screwdriver here and when you extrude it you would extrude uh, as new and you'd have two separate parts that you could then manipulate so that was just to kind of think about which of these you're selecting and if they're coming in different colors it means you've got new parts okay um, you might want that you might want not want that one other thing which um, I wanted to just show you as well is something called the symmetric extrude so you'll see you'll notice that this first cylinder I've got is actually half of it is either side of this middle plane now, how have I done that? Well, I started with my sketch, which I drew on that front plane. But when I went to my extrude command here, uh, usually we use blind, which just allows us to set a, a distance in, in one direction. But what I've done instead is I've selected symmetric. And what it does then is it, it sends the extrusion half of that distance. So half is this way and half is that way. So you end up with something which is in the middle. Why is that useful? Well, if, for example, this one here, if I just edit this sketch and I'm just going to stick it onto that middle plane. Um, if I wanted to have a, a second part that was maybe sticking out a little bit more, made that 30, but equally on either side, then I could I could make a part like that. So if it's symmetrical, then you're worth modeling it all on the middle and then using a symmetric extrusion to add a bit either side. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. At least the first part, not too confusing.